Introduction Rahul visited a fair with his mother one day. There he notices a game. There were few shapes on a board. At the top of the board, few lines were written. Hit inside the circle and win a pencil. Hit inside the square and win a teddy. Hit inside the triangle and win yourself a geometry box. Look, Mama, it's really interesting, but... What happened, son? Do you want to try? Yes, I want to win the geometry box, but I don't know which among these shapes is triangle. Friends, circle, square and triangle are some of the geometrical shapes. Come, let us know about these shapes in the lesson Geometrical Shapes. Objectives at the end of this lesson, you'll be able to know the different geometrical shapes, identify three types of angles, acute, obtuse, and right angles, differentiate between open figures and closed figures, explain triangle and its types, describe quadrilateral and its different types, construct circles of different radius, Draw the different geometrical figures. Look at this Indian map. We see that the cities are represented by dots. These are called points. In geometry, points are defined as locations in space. They tell about the position of objects. What if the two points are connected? We will get a line segment. A line segment XY is a straight path containing points X and Y and all points between X and Y. The points X and Y are end points. What will you call this? It has one end point. On its other end, there is an arrowhead. This implies that it can be extended in the direction of the arrowhead. This is called a ray. We define a ray as a straight path that has one end point and extends on and on in one direction. What if a straight path extends on and on in both directions? This becomes a line. For example, line XY. Thus, a line is defined as a straight path that extends on and on in both the directions. Now notice this railway track. The two sides of track do not cross one another. These sides are parallel. Similarly, two lines are said to be parallel lines if no matter how far the lines extend in either direction, they never cross each another. Look at this box. What figure it makes? It forms an angle. Similarly, the minute hand and the hour hand in the clock form angles. A figure formed by two rays with a common end point is called an angle. An angle is represented by the given symbol. This is an angle ABC. It is represented as Angle ABC. Here, B is a vertex. A is a point on one ray, while C is a point on another ray. An angle can be measured by using a protector. It is also used in drawing an angle of a given measure. An angle whose measure is 90 degrees is called a right angle. An angle whose measure is less than 90 degrees is called an acute angle. While an angle whose measure is more than 90 degrees is called an obtuse angle. Notice the given figures. First figure does not enclose part of plane. This is an open figure. This figure starts with one point and ends at different points. What about the second figure? 
This starts with one point and ends at the same point. Thus, it encloses region inside it. A figure of this type is called a closed figure. Look at these closed figures. These are formed by the line segments. The closed figures which are formed by the line segments are called polygons. The line segment of a polygon is called its side. The point where two line segments meet is called its vertex. What will you call these line segments? The line segments drawn from one vertex to another vertex are called diagonals. A side of a polygon is not a diagonal. A polygon having three sides is called a triangle. It has three vertices and three angles. Triangle is denoted by the given symbol. This is triangle ABC. It can also be named as triangle BCA or triangle CAB. Friends, can you recall some figures which are triangular in shape? Notice the flags in the ground and the design at the door. These are triangles. The triangles can be classified into three types depending upon the number of equal sides that they contain. If all the three sides of a triangle are of different length, then the triangle is called scalene triangle. If the two sides of a triangle are of the same length, then the triangle is called isosceles triangle. If all the three sides of a triangle are of same length, then the triangle is called equilateral triangle. What will you call those polygons which are formed by four line segments? Such polygons are called quadrilaterals. There are several types of quadrilaterals. These are parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus and square. Let us discuss each type in detail. A quadrilateral having opposite sides parallel is called a parallelogram. For example, slide is a parallelogram. A parallelogram in which all four sides have the same length is called a rhombus. Look at this painting. This is a rhombus. A parallelogram in which all angles are right angles, that is 90 degrees, is called a rectangle. For example, this gift pack is a rectangle. A square is a parallelogram in which all angles are right angles and all sides have same length. Hey friends, do you enjoy playing chess? Look at the chessboard. It is square in shape. Look what Sahil is doing. He is rotating the rope in the air. What shape the knot at the end of the rope is forming? It is circle. A circle is a shape consisting of points in a plane equidistant from a given point, the center. One rupee coins, flying disc, wheel, CD are circular in shape. The length of the line segment from center of the circle to any point on the circle is called the radius. Twice the radius of the circle is called the diameter of the circle. A circle of a given radius can be drawn with the help of a compass. Click on the words given in the column A and then click on the corresponding geometrical figures given in the column B. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Points are defined as locations in space. A line is defined as a straight path that extends on and on in both directions. An angle whose measure is 90 degrees is called a right angle. Angles measuring less than 90 degrees are acute angles and those which measure more than 90 degrees are obtuse angles. A polygon having three sides 
is called a triangle. Three types of triangles are scalene triangles, isosceles triangles, and equilateral triangles. The polygons formed by four line segments are called quadrilaterals. Parallelogram, rectangle, rhombus, and square are the types of quadrilaterals. A circle is a shape consisting of points in a plane equidistant from a given point, the center.